All right, um, iTunes uh, files use what's called the ID3 tag. Uh, what the ID3 tag is, it's a uh, metadata container, which is basically just some extra information about the MP3s. And uh, uh, the tag is usually contain information such as the uh, title, uh, the artist, the album, the track number, and sometimes other information about the file. Uh, if you look at any given file, um, uh, under the name or the track number and artist as I just said uh, this is how um, iTunes knows the information um, uh, this it makes it easier uh, to search for tracks uh, than searching based on file names and um, when you download a track to uh, your iPod or your iPhone um, this is gonna this is how you're going to uh, navigate to the tracks um, you can change this information uh, by clicking on a track and then going up to file and click get info and then click on the info tab and you can change uh, the name or the artist or whatever uh, you can change any of the uh, ID3 tags and just go ahead and click OK um, there's, all, there's also other programs that you can use to batch edit these tags uh, my personal favorite program is called Tigo Tago. Uh, it's a free program and it allows you to batch edit ID3 tags so you can uh, arrange your MP3s uh, very easily. Um, if you'd like to know more about uh, that program, uh, all you have to do is run a search on them. That's T-I-G-O-T-A-G-O. -T -O -T -A -G -O. Just put that in Google and uh, you can learn more about um, ID3 tags.